Hello, this is uh, my new layout. Uh, it's kind of an extension, extension or a separate layout, so you can put it on the colliery that I've built, the rush green colliery that we built at the club, um, just after lockdown, and showed at Statfold last year. But this would, this could possibly fit on the end of it. I've lined the tracks up at one end, basically. But I was wanting somewhere to, some, somewhere more to shunt. Uh, so I've got like a time saver, but it's like extended. And obviously, when we um, take it out, if we take it out, there'd be a fiddle yard on the end, on that like, on this end here. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to have a factory at the back there. You can see like the outline. I'll probably knock off one bay and then uh, have a loading loading platform along that bit. Uh, yeah, so the idea is to have those those two sidings uh, there to play around with, and you can also run around the trains and whatever up here while my friend at the other end or me, whoever's operating the colliery, can um, uh, use this bit of track here up to this point. Uh, what I've done so far is I've put all the power supplies in some of the isolation switches. But I might have to separate just for ease of use. I might have to separate the two back lines and that bit there uh, from the rest of it. At the moment, they just switch over, so like the whole of that section will switch over on one switch, and that that short section will switch over from the colliery feed, vice versa. So I'm also wondering whether to put two tracks through to the fill yard up there. I don't think it's needed really. So um, we can just pause the trains there and make sure everything's clear before we travel through maybe. So yeah, so I've got like a bit of a canal cutting thing and if I don't go with a canal I can have a bit of rough ground there. Uh, the lower baseboard or the lower board there gives you a, a scope to make some hills or a little bit of a, a slope away if, if you're not going to have a, you know, a canal. Uh, the idea of that would be the I was I did do it initially as the canal loading point for the colliery, so like you they'd tip the coal into the, the wagons there, probably by, by hand like I've actually got a picture of some sort of like shelter at one of the collieries where they just like shelter out of the rain when they were loading the barges. I thought that was quite cool. Well, that's why that's there really, so if I wanted to model that. Um the retaining wall at the back I'm Wondering whether that's too tall, also too long. Basically, I'm not sure about it um, at all. But um, yeah, well, the idea would be to have a retaining wall, and then like a short embankment, and then um, about where these holes here, these holes here are, we'll have a house, and then that, these two would be these two holes would be covered by uh, trees or whatever in the back garden, and you know, like these holes are for. What, that were for where the points point switches and the isolation switches will be on the other side and yeah that's so yeah it's it's it should come together quite well i don't know what to cover that with i've only got a few sheets of i've got to find the right material to do it like plastic card sheets but yeah it's going to it's going to be it'll come together quite quickly once i get started on it it's uh, been distracted uh, um, sorting out some of the people in in my locos. So when you when you see it, see the colliery next. Uh, some of the locos will have people in them, and this one has a, a lamp on the front. Uh, so I've got four of I think it's three or four of these um, six wheel packets and a couple of Andrew Barclays. Um, you know, there's quite a few locos to run on the colliery. Also got diesels as well. Um, probably have too many locos, but that's another story. <laughs> I don't think you can have too many locos. Trippers are all analog, so you can only have one running at a time in each section, unless you isolate them. So that's why you use isolators. So you can move around things basically. This uh, this area is a bit of a if you forget to change the point, you like to cause a short straight away. So I wouldn't want to run it on uh, DCC. <laughs> as soon as it like runs onto the point, it's like the wrong way.
<laughs> Went to stat fold the other day, that was good. Uh, I've been there twice in the last few weeks actually, because I've um, been... I went to the spectacular Steam, like the Steam Enthusiast event, and we went to the model event. Not showing this time, but we walked around and had a look with me and a, fr a different friend from last time. We uh, we went. It was good though, lots of layouts, and we met Laurie from. I'm gonna get this wrong, some shit with remembering things like this. Uh, Laurie's Mechanical Marvels. He was nice to talk to. We had a nice conversation about his, well, I had a nice conversation about his uh, fire engine and uh, the price of fuel, but <laughs> as you do. But yeah, um, yeah, I've got lots more wagons to, um, what I've been doing with the mineral wagons, I'll show you in another video, is uh, weighing them down with a couple of pennies and then uh, putting a piece of cardboard over the top. That will help them to stay on the track a bit better, and we won't have to fill them. It won't take as long to fill them, because they're almost halfway up now, after you've put the pennies and the cardboard in the bottom. Yeah. So yeah, it's, um, I have put provision for a shuttle on this, so if you go down there, it will just stop, because that's the shuttle on, and you don't have to do anything. Change the direction, and it will come back. Obviously I've got a shuttle unit which will do this for me, and, uh, and I'll put a I'll put one up there in the top of there, it'll stop on its own in a second. There you go, it's stopped. And that will be just in case you're too busy to do something, and I might, I might do it to the end of one of these sidings, because these two aren't isolated at the moment, these two tracks at the back, um, just the fronts of them are. So I've got to decide that later on. Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. So yeah, it'll be retaining wall, embankment, back of someone's garden, houses, and then factory, and then this bit, like the level. You see that line at the bottom? The level of the ground will be about there, and then you'll have like a small embankment along here to the railway. And then obviously we've got the platform height along there. Um, I haven't filmed a video like this for a long time, or well, probably not in this in depth either. So I do apologise if I've gone on a bit. But thanks for watching, everybody, and see you again soon.